Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout, where we've recovered the water chip, but it turns out that's only really the beginning of the game. I've done, like, you know, Act 1, but the Overseer, who I don't like very much, has sent me straight back out again. That's a good trick there, Tycho. Well, bloody done. Has sent me straight back out again to go and deal with the super mutant threat. Now, I've got two leads, and I kind of, you know, I could go down to the LA Boneyard, investigate the Cathedral, because the children are definitely connected somehow, or to the Brotherhood. The chat was indicating the Brotherhood would work just fine. So let's head in that direction. After all, the Brotherhood do have like all the fancy technology and toys and whatever, so let's go over to them. The chat was also indicating that yeah, travelling all the way down to the hub to link up with a caravan to go up to the Brotherhood was probably a bit of a waste of time. You can just go there directly, albeit they might not necessarily be the friendliest guys in the world. We'll give it a go anyway. Let's head over to the Brotherhood, because yeah, going all the way down to the hub then back up, that'd be pretty wasteful. So instead, yeah, if we just head there directly, that's actually uh, a pretty straight efficient shot, all things considered. So, let's go visit the Brotherhood, because if nothing else, I save one of their initiates in the hub. That hopefully might actually mean they feel like they owe me enough that they're willing to talk to me, but the bare minimum, not like, you know, slap a collar on me or shoot me or something. After the Brotherhood we go, though, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a long journey through the mountains. We'll discover some new stuff. Slow going, probably we'll run into a couple of random events, but got my new armor, got my new shotgun. Quite frankly, I almost want to test out my new stuff. There we Ooh, hello. Hang on a flipping minute. There, there's... Ooh, oh dear. Also, I've just stumbled across a family of mole rats. Luckily, they are hitting me for two, and then missing a lot, so uh, this is going well for them. Yeah, guys, good luck with this, by the way. Good, good flipping luck. So let's just see how this does. Yep, that did 15 hit points worth of damage. That puts you to almost dead. <laughs> almost dead, lovely. Actually, what I should probably do is I should probably carry around like a secondary weapon. What's my secondary weapon right now? Because my secondary thing is... Uh, it's still five action points. I should probably have, like, a a knife or something as my secondary weapon so I can get a second, like, hit in if need be. So let's actually do that. Let's go over to this. What do I have that I could use to basically just, like, uh, punch people in the face with? Do I still have those? No, I don't have the knuckles or anything because I haven't really invested in I should probably do that. I should probably do that so I can, like, shoot someone with a shotgun and then punch them in the face just to kind of follow it up a bit. But as it is, instead, take, yeah, one step back and you guys do something to... One step, one step, one step, guys! You do something, please. There we go, that's one of them dead at least. And now, luckily, they're going for... Ah, they're going for Tycho for once. Good, not for bloody me. So just keep shooting those guys. 16 points. I'm just going to back off and let... Ian, why haven't you had a go yet? They die nice and quick and easy. Okay, yes. Liking this new shotgun, but liking the new armor even more. Taking zero damage. That's damn good. Now, don't forget to actually bother reloading. Oh, and don't forget to try out the new burst thing. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but I kind of want to give it a go at some point. Don't forget that. Now, before we got stuck in this fight, I saw something here. There's some here. Presumably one of the two locations I haven't come across yet. So, okay. Head in this direction. It's vaguely the right direction anyway. And this is... Uh, what is it? City Ruins. Is this an actual location or... Huh. Okay, what is this exactly? It feels like it's quite small, and I don't see anything around, so... Okay, if I hold down shift to get a view as to whether there's any containers... Doesn't look like it. What's the point of this area? Yeah, as far as I can tell, nothing here. Had a quick look around, couldn't see anything. No containers, no people, no creatures. Right, just a little... Bit of city ruins, which I guess is a thing that just exists on occasion. I guess it makes sense there'd be a couple of false friends on the map, because otherwise, like, if you saw something, you knew it was going to be important. If there's a couple of false friends, it keeps you guessing a bit. Fine. Off to the Brotherhood we go, then. Should be a nice, easy, straight shot. Now, a couple of low-lying foothills, but there we are. To the Brotherhood of Steel. Please don't shoot me. Ooh. <laughs> La-di-da. Uh, so, back in these days, yeah, the Brotherhood did properly go in for... The whole knight business, what, uh, well, what Mr. House actually called them in New Vegas when he said, oh, the pseudo-knightly nonsense. I guess this is what he was referring to. Though, admittedly, in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, this didn't really show up, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, back in these days, apparently, uh, the Brotherhood still did properly see themselves as a little order of knights. Which I guess might mean maybe they've got a bit more on the whole nobility thing going on. Maybe they're more the good guys than we've seen elsewhere. I mean, you know, they were kind of fairly the good guys in Fallout 3. Maybe this is the same sort of thing, and nothing here, but the entrance to the bunker, and a little stand- ooh, standard. 
Never, never like a standard. Generally, the bad guys have standards. You don't trust the good guys to have standards. It's not in post-apocalypse. Not in post-apocalypse, anyway. Brother of Steel. This market tells the wasteland. This is their area. Leave immediately. Well, oh dear. Unfortunately, I'm not leaving immediately. I'd like to have a chat. You see a door. You see a... That's not a wall. I see a paladin. And I see Cabot. An initiative of the Brother of Steel. Okay. Can I talk to him about... Also, if I step through this gate, are they about to shoot me on sight? I hope not. Come on, don't shoot me on sight. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? Okay. That was a lot friendlier than I was actually expecting, in fact. So, why don't you just tell me, you know, who you are and what you do? Well, uh, I'm an initiate. Uh, right now, my, my job is to greet people at the door. I like the fact they've put a really friendly person on the door. That's really, really damn good. So, doesn't sound terribly exciting. I still want to join. Thanks, see you around. Yeah, can I ask you a few questions first? I'm sorry, I, I really can't. They, they said not to. Goodbye. I feel like this guy is neither that high ranking, nor indeed the sharpest tool in the shed. Hello, you went back in? Seriously? What? You see a door. Security code is required to use it. He just implied I could just come in. Hello, you went back in? No. Door. Locked. Unable to unlock. Okay, I'm not sure if something just went a bit wrong there, so I've just reloaded because I felt like that conversation went a bit weird. Like, the game was assuming I could come inside when I actually couldn't. Fallout is known to contain the odd, like, little bug and whatever. Let's try this again. I'd actually like to join, in fact. Yes. That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second and let me see what you need to do. Okay, better. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Okay, did you do said quest? Uh, not exactly, but uh, things are a bit different right now. Alright, tell me why things are a bit different. I'm sorry, I, I really can't. They, they said not to. Goodbye. I really hope that doesn't just lock me out of his conversation again, because, yeah, this guy seems to, if you don't get the conversation right the first time... Hello, you went back in? Yeah, I think he's stuck in a bit of a thing. Fine. <laughs> we need to reload and try that again. You know what? I'm just going to agree to the quest. You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. Okay, ruins of the Ancient Order. Ancient Order that's south of here. But go inside, bring back something, proves you were there. Alright, and how would you know that it was there? And also, I'm going to need more details on that, because there's a load of stuff to the south of here. Like, a couple of places I haven't been yet. The Boneyard and the Glow are both to the south of here. And there's two more locations I haven't even found yet. So go on then, how would you know what came from this place, whatever it is? This place is high tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> okay. Radioactive, high-tech stuff. I will do it, but I'm gonna need more information, to be honest. You'll do it? You will? Great, just bring it back here. Good luck. I can't believe it, they're sending her down there. Ooh. What do you know? The Glow Quest! Haha, -ha. okay. Good, we now have a location. Excellent. I'm glad you're more used than bloody Cabot. I suspect Cabot's a bit of an idiot. So, I'm going to the Ancient Order. But I'm guessing I am, in fact, going to the Glow, as it's referred to on my map. Glow, Ancient Order, it's the same thing. It's still not a good place to visit. Okay, what makes you say that exactly? To start with, it's a good ten days' travel to the southeast from here. Then there's the radiation. There's a reason none of us have ever gone to the Ancient Order. If you don't have Radex, you'll be cooked before you even know what hits you. Right, that's actually pretty damn useful. So, why does the Ancient Order and the Glow have two names? So most topsiders think it's just one big radioactive hole. Thus the name became the Glow, or some even call it the Hotspot. We in the Brotherhood know the truth. According to the ancient writings, the place was the source of all our technology, and who knows what still may be there. Interesting the Brotherhood wouldn't have actually chosen to go there anyway, especially if you've got power armor that gives you some rad resistance, but maybe it didn't back in these days. Right. Interesting. So, we've got ourselves a quest, and we have got ourselves a destination. We're going to the glow, we need to get, well, slightly generic something, and we've got a warning. It's Rad Central now. Let's have a look at the inventory here. I picked up some Rad stuff out of the last vault I was in, in fact. Yeah. So I've got two doses of Rad X right there. I do also have a Geiger counter. 
which is quite useful. And do I have any... Yeah, I've got one dose of Radaway. That does not feel like much, does it? No. That doesn't feel like much at all. I think we should probably swing by a couple of doctors as we're heading south anyway, pick up some more supplies. Because radiation... Uh, well, varies game to game, but given we've just been specifically warned that we're going to get cooked and Rad sneak up on you this game because there's no Rad counter on screen, you need to use the Geiger counter manually. I suspect it would be a good idea for us to potentially just make sure we're well stocked up. So, here we are. That's Junk Town, isn't it? That's the hub down there. Then that's Necropolis we've already been to. That's the LA Boneyard. And then the glow was way down... Oh, blimey. That is a long journey indeed. Right. In fact, he said 10 days. I feel like it's going to take more than 10 days to get there. What I think I should do is I should swing by all the settlements on the way. Because some of them have doctors. And the doctors will presumably sell rad medication. That's Junk Town right there. So let's cross the mountain straight over to Junk Town. Head down to the hub. We can actually swing by the boneyard while we're passing by. Just see if there happens to be an um, obvious shop there. And then head on to the glow. But yeah, getting into the Brotherhood. That feels like that should probably be my main objective at the time being. But as I'm going to be basically literally passing the boneyard while I'm actually going by... I see no reason why not. So, straight over to Junk Town, because they've got Doc Morbid. Not exactly a guy I trust that much, but you know what? He may well be selling some supplies, assuming he doesn't mind. Oh, first we've got a fight in our hands. Oh, well, not necessarily a fight. It could just be an encounter. And it is a, a lone traveller in the waste. So what brings you up this far? Well, I'm just wandering, my good man. Just doing some wandering, much like myself then. So you're not from one of the communities. Out here then. Ooh, also, can you direct me to a nearby... Oh, that's kind of useful. Direct me to a nearby settlement. Uh, but that's fine. I think I know where all the nearby settlements are. Well, actually, just in case, let's see if he happens to know about anything I haven't heard of. Nope, I know about all of them already. Let's also barter with him, just see what he's got on him. So, we have got ourselves... Ooh, super stim pack. Throwing knives, normal knives, some magnum. We could just get some Magnum. Magnum's quite useful. Actually, wait, hang on. Am I using anything with the Magnum right now? No, I don't think I am, actually. That's the 10mm pistol I just use for really crappy weak enemies if I stumble across them. And then I've got, yeah, my shotgun and I'm using, yeah, this stuff, the 223, um, for the rest of it. So I don't think I actually need Magnum ammo right now. And also, he's got no money and I've got nothing to sell. So I think we're good. So, continue on our journey to Junk Town, because, yeah, Doc Morbid definitely is there, so that'll be useful. So, uh, Doc Morbid, Casino, Crash House. No, I think he was right by the entrance, wasn't he? Uh, so just up here to... Yeah, here we are. This was your place. Assuming he doesn't shoot me on sight, because... Wait, um, I... No, I didn't turn in the guy he's doing the cannibal trade with. I just, uh, basically, uh, extorted money out of that guy. So hopefully everything will be fine. Yes, you. You, my good man. I would like to... No. No, 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 no. I want to buy stuff. Yeah, barter. Barter with you. And... Stim packs, but no actual rad medicine. That is a shame. Well, actually, while I'm here, uh, Killian had a general store, didn't he? He had all sorts of different things. So let's just nip up there while I'm here. Ooh, also, I'm in a town. I should really put my guns away. Hang on, sorry, sorry, forgot about that. Also, I was told in the comments, apparently, like, he has extra stuff that's not in his inventory, and you need to actually look at the table and look at the stuff in order to actually see it. So he's got, yeah, okay, so this is stuff that wasn't in his general inventory, presumably. Backpack, ooh, backpack. Does that actually, ooh, doctor's bags. Health kits, Geiger counters... Come on, where's your where's your rad stuff? I need flipping rad stuff. So that's one table. Then if I look at this table, then hang on, yeah, look at this table. Then that opens up his menu again, but this time he's got a different Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, there's different stuff. And I think that's actually the stuff I've sold to him. I guess I want to buy it back. Although still, tragically, yep, no sign of any actual anti-rad stuff. But could top up the ammo that I use anyway. Yeah, how expensive is this stuff, by the way? It's 136 per 50, which I'd say is a very, very good deal, actually. Yeah, and on his person, he's got almost nothing, actually. Fine, so no anti-rad medicine here, but I've at least picked up a little bit of extra useful ammo. Right, in which case, straight south to the hub. Though, actually, I don't remember them having a hospital, because they're... Their hospital facility was just a great big thing owned by the children, who don't actually seem to, like, sell proper... 
medical supplies. So I'm not sure there's anywhere here where I'm actually going to be able to buy myself actual rad stuff. Although hopefully I'm just about to run into a radiation doc- No, I'm not about to run into a radiation doctor. Instead, I've just run into some bloody raiders. Lovely. So raiders, raiders, more raiders. Okay, just got four raiders to kill here. Better actually get out my shotgun again, unfortunately. So shotgun back in hand. Nice. And as they are pretty close by, I've only got... Wait, I've got... Yeah, I've got five shots. So I can take a shot. 95%, 95% chance against you. Eh, go for it. And how much is that going to do? Strength to use properly, 15 hit points, and that gets you to severely wounded. Fine, so you've not got that much health. Uh, so in which case, just take a step back, and you're going to take a shot at me, but missed. Good. You kill him with your 10mm automatic. You miss again. Oh, I feel like these guys are not necessarily that good. Ian's been hit for 6. 6 is fine. You are down on the ground, but not actually dead yet. Fine. So critical leg damage does also knock them to the ground. Fine. Go over to my pistol, which I assume has got better range on it. And now take a shot at you, 95%. Boom, so that's, ooh, 26 hit points. Very, very nice indeed. Just check that you are sufficiently. Yep, you're almost dead. So in which case, I'm going to take a couple of steps over in this direction, just to basically get away from that other guy. He runs away, and someone can just, oop, finishes him off. Right, Tycho's just running in to finish the job. Lovely. Now, uh, one, two, three, can I still hit this person? Yeah, 90% chance. I am good with guns, damn it. 21 hit points damage done. Get over there. She's just running away again. Taiko at this point should be able to... I think they're trying to leave the battlefield. <laughs> I think she's... Taiko, no! <laughs> Don't follow her out into the wastes. Don't do that. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we get a shot in. 85. Job done. Beautiful. So those guys are all dead. I can simply reload nice and carefully. And now I can just loot the corpses. Looks like they're going to have proper combat armor on them. Lovely. Actually, no, for whatever reason. Though they do have stim packs. Stim packs are good. Yeah, that was probably the problem. They were armed with really, really crappy things. Ah, but you had a 10mm submachine gun. That is nice and valuable. Fine. We'll be able to sell that at the hub. Beautiful. So, just finish up the journey. Should be nice and quick now. Yep, should be able to arrive there in late afternoon. General store. Right, we might actually be on something here. In the general store... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, sorry, need to put guns away. Guns away. Guns away. We're in town. Polite town. There we go. So you've got... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Someone has ran away. Right, okay. We will definitely be buying all of his rad away for 1,200? Blimey, okay. Radio, ooh, combat knife. That might be nice. And to be honest, I'm more interested in, if you have it, any actual rad X, because I don't have much. Oh, well, well, on the plus side, I do have this nice new 10mm submachine gun. Oh, yeah, fine, that pretty much pays. Oh, those raiders have done me a favour. That gun pretty much pays for what I need. And yeah, I do actually feel like taking is it's pretty cheap, that combat knife, and having that potentially set as a secondary weapon, because I'm assuming the action point requirement of that's going to be pretty low. So I could take that, get my melee up a little bit, and then basically, yeah, take a shot, and then immediately afterwards follow it up with a stab. If someone's, like, almost dead, that might be useful, potentially. Plus, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty damn light. Still, outside the city limits, let's have a look, see if my new plan here. So... This here combat knife has presumably, yeah, minimum strength of two, so I can actually use it. And I'm guessing this is going to be much better than just a basic knife. So shove that on here. Get my... Yeah, let's stick with the pistol. I'm all right with the pistol. So now, yeah, action points three, or up to four, even with the vats. And a thrust on, yeah, thrust, swing. I'm not sure the difference between thrust and swing is in terms of damage, but... Basically, I get a shot in with this, and I can follow it up with a stab within a single round of attacks if I don't move, because I have the nine action points. So I could move once, and then, yeah, get a shot in and a stab if someone's almost dead, which I think could actually be potentially quite useful. So, out we go into the world, and yeah, ultimately we're going way down there, but as we're going in that direction anyway, let's actually check out, here we are, the LA Boneyard. Nice flat ground, pretty, ooh! Right. The ruins of the whole of Los Angeles there. 
I wonder if all of this is up for grabs. It's like, you know, just like ruined city stuff around all of these squares. Interesting. Okay. LA Boneyard it is. Beside in gasoline, Los Angeles County, California. The playground of America. Into... Ah, Aditum. People have mentioned this to me as well. Right. You better put your weapons away while you're here. Absolutely. No problem. I 100% will. All right. So, let's just sort that out nice and quickly. So, now I've put the gun away... A regulator, one of the guards of Aditum. Okay, the regulators, of course, they showed up in Fallout 3, albeit dressed very differently. See a stern man in his 30s. Okay, so the police here are called regulators. What's the deal with that? Welcome to Aditum, stranger. Watch yourself, we'll be watching you. Alright, uh, what do you want to know about? What exactly is going on here in Aditum? And one of the regulators, it's our job to keep the peace in Aditum, protect the town. Our boss, Caleb, could tell you more. Okay, you need to go find Caleb. Tell me more about this area, the LA Boneyard. What's going on here exactly? East of us are the followers. They're a bunch of peace nuts. And east of the blades, a bunch of skags, if you ask me. A way south of here is the cathedral, where the children have their religious centre. So followers of the apocalypse, okay, and... The Blades, bunch of skags, presumably just like they'll attack me on sight or something. So we've got Blades and followers both to the east, and then way to the south, the cathedral. Got it. And as for coming inside, Zimmerman might have a use for you. Come inside, but remember, we're watching. Okay, find someone called Zimmerman, he might have work. Or find someone called Caleb, he might be able to tell me what's going on exactly. And we've got ourselves... Yeah, not exactly a big settlement here. It looks like it's actually all in one go. Ah, okay. So rather than this being like the hub where there's going to be lots of different areas instead, Aditum is a small little group of regulators and that's it. And when it says go to the east, it means literally you have to travel on the world map to the east to find the blades and the followers. They're elsewhere in Los Angeles. Okay, that's pretty damn cool. Right, this here just looks like the guardhouse by the door. Leave that be and head on to the next building round here. And then we've got ourselves, inhabitants, a middle-aged man in civilian clothing, but he appears to have a bodyguard. Right, are you important by any chance? What do you want? Who you exactly? I'm... Ah! I'm John Zimmerman, Mayor of Aditum. Good! You are important! I'm surprised the game didn't just flag you as Zimmerman then. So your guard said you might actually have a job for me. I might... Have you ever dealt with a vicious murdering band of thieves before? Yeah, they jumped me on the way here. I was thrilled. I took their guns. I sold them. I swapped them for rad medicine. It was the best day ever. I have indeed dealt with a few. Yes, that is true. Good, good. And you know how ruthless and bloodthirsty they can be. The Blades are the worst of them all, I'm afraid. We're a humble, God-fearing town that is only trying to survive. These monsters, they prey on us, he whispers under his breath, and our children. Okay... What exactly do you mean by that, then? The regulators keep them from attacking us outright, but it's all they can do to keep our little community safe. They try to sneak in at night and kill our citizens, or to kidnap our children. And he stops for a moment to compose himself before continuing. Just last week, one of them burst through the north gate in the middle of the night with dynamite strapped to his body to blow up the regulators' barracks, no doubt to weaken us enough so that they could launch a full-scale attack. Okay, what happened to that guy? Luckily, the regulators killed him before he could complete his plan. I saw his body myself. Blimey! There's actual suicide bombing going on here. Dear, oh dear. So to be clear, you didn't actually see this guy run into your town with dynamite strapped to his body. It was the middle of the night, so I told you I was asleep. Luckily, the regulators usually catch these barbarians before they even make it inside our town. Why do I get the feeling that... Yeah... There's more going on here than he's saying. I feel like this town is maybe not quite as innocent as it's making out here, and the Blades maybe not quite the monsters they're being portrayed as. Yeah, that is all very, very lucky and convenient. What would be convenient would be to put an end to their foulness once and for all. Okay, so I'm guessing you just want them dead, but let's keep it open-ended. How can I help you? I'll give you 2,000 caps to kill their leader. I want that bitch's head. Okay, and just the leader? They'll fall apart without her... Her vile influence. She does indeed sound like a fun girl. Lovely. She had my son kidnapped, tortured and killed. They left him impaled on a post right outside the gates. Okay. That's, that's not fun. If that's true, 
then we'll deal with them, sure. But I suspect maybe the Blades have a different way of telling this story. So, the Blades camp is to the north of here. Come back when you've done the job. Alright, well, we might just have a little look-see around the rest of the town while we're visiting. In particular, would you object if I went down your manhole cover here? I'd like to investigate what's going on. And it's just, oh, it's just an underground bedroom. You just live in a bunker. Which I'll admit is, seems a little bit on the, the paranoid side. So we've got a thin man and a white smock here. Why do you get a feeling you're important? I don't believe we've met. I'm Miles. Okay, lovely. And, oh, you look like a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist. Mostly I make primer and powder so we can reuse the brass casings from bullets. I also dabble with some other chemicals. Ooh. Okay. By any chance, could you make me some radix? Because if you've got a subquest that lets you produce some radix for me, I'd be thrilled. And the reason he does that is because the hydroponic farms aren't functioning. We have to buy food from the merchants and bullets the only thing we have to sell. If I was to fix that for you, you could be more self-sufficient. Really? That'd be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts. I'm sure you could scrounge up the right pieces. We could be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Or Samuel. Sam I'm just going to call him Samuel and we're going to be done with it. Also, there's another manhole cover here. Hang on, we've got more. Ooh. So mushrooms just happily growing underground here. Lovely. And here's someone else who actually wants to speak to me. Would you be Samuel by any chance? I am John. Yep, here we are, Samuel. Now, Miles said I should talk to you about parts for his hydroponics farms. Do you know anything about that? Ah, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Last week I sent a guy up north to look for the parts for Miles. We haven't heard from him since. The last transmission I got from him was that he had found the parts on his way back. I haven't had time to check in it personally yet. I don't want to lose another person to whatever may have caused his disappearance. Is there any form of finder's fee? No, 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 no. I'm just going to search in the area for the parts. I'll let you know if I find your missing friend. So up north, somewhere, halfway between here and another settlement, we might find that. If we just head straight north from here, we ought to find him. Okay, would you? That'd be great. Like I said, things have been busy here. We can't afford losing more people. Right. Find somebody up north. But we don't exactly have an exact location there, so... Might be a bit tricky. Hello, stranger, may I be of service? Who exactly are you? I'm getting to know the people of Aditum. I'm called Chuck. Welcome to Aditum. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too forthcoming with strangers, though. So, what exactly is your deal there, Chuck? I'm a farmer. I also have to do a little bit of work on the buildings, restoring them, keeping them intact. Sometimes I give advice. Okay, advice on anything in particular? He pulls out a set of tarot cards. Let me consult the cards. Okay, Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man with a vibro knife and a flag. The Prince of Swords in the Northwest. You must face a powerful foe far to the Northwest. Ooh. Why do you get the feeling that's actually going to be true? <laughs> far to the Northwest. So the Northwest of here would be significantly... That would be broadly in line with the military base that we've already heard about. So we heard that was significantly to the West. We just don't know... Where exactly? Okay, that's actually probably useful. Now I know it's the northwest of here, fine. Though I think that's broadly what we already knew. And I think we've got one more named person here. We have got ourselves Lorraine, a scav. Hello there, Lorraine. Ah, but I haven't found everyone yet. Apparently there is Tyne in a shop which is in a bunker near the gate. So I find a bunker near the gate and there's a shop down there. There's also Smitty who's the tinkerer. And I still haven't found Caleb the town mayor. Also, apparently you don't even tell me anything about Samuel, which is very unfair to poor Samuel. Ah, this is interesting. So, Los Angeles. Lots of people lived here. From what I hear, survivors hid in a big place called a vault came out years later. Some of them started the regulators and then founded a detum. Others formed the blades. The gunrunners aren't from here originally. Where is this vault exactly? Supposedly it was somewhere south of here. I don't really know. I think everyone left because it was broken. Fine, so there's a broken vault to the south. Okay. And also, there's been a mention of the gun runners too. So, not really sure where they're from. I think they come from somewhere up north of here. Okay, no information where I can find the gun runners just yet. But yeah, I think in here we've still got... You might be Smitty in here in that case. Are you Smitty? Large muscular man? Yep, everyone calls me Smitty. Probably because I am the local blacksmith. Lovely. And this guy doesn't actually sell anything. I need to check out Tyne store just to one side of the gates. Gotcha. Though actually, where's this Caleb guy then? We still haven't found flipping Caleb, who was the running the place. We found John Zimmerman. We still haven't found flipping Caleb. 
Ah, wait, Stone Man in his 30s, you might be Caleb right here. You indeed do have the look of someone important, and I say that because you're wearing the exact same armour as me. I'm Caleb, I train and organise the regulators. Beautiful. So, tell me what's going on here in the LA Boneyard. Because like, yeah, there's quite a few factions floating around. Yeah, I guess. You've got the Blades up north. Wait, up north? I was just told east a minute ago. But alright, Blades up north, pretty pathetic herd of people. And the Gunrunners a little north and a ways to the east through the Deathclaw Playground. That does not sound like a fun place. Right, somewhere potentially northeast, I'm not sure I trust its directions. We have got ourselves through the Deathclaw Playground, the Gunrunners. So maybe we'll just leave the Gunrunners for now. Don't want to go through the Deathclaw Playground at this exact moment in time. Now he is agreeing with everyone else that yes, yeah, the south of here there's the children of the cathedral, who run a hospital and a big church, and up a little bit to the north and to the east, you've got the loony followers of the apocalypse, who are all peace types. Alright, lovely. And that will be the entrance to Tyne's shop down there. Let's just check if they've got anything good to trade. Hello stranger, what can I do for you today? So, yeah, anything interesting to say about the hub merchants? I just trade with them, nothing major. So his view on the town, Zimmerman's a fair man, maybe not the brightest guy. Of course we've got Miles, probably the only man in 100 miles who knows anything about science. Okay, I like Miles, maybe we'll go and do his little subquest, see if we can find that guy out in the wastes. Ooh, plasma grenades, this guy's got on him. I like the fact you've got plasma grenades, okay. Yeah, minimum strength. It's always four. It's never not four. How much does one of these cost? Hundred. Ooh, those are cheap. I will gladly take them. Ooh, hello. I just stepped out of the town. I'm not back on the map, which is where I kind of expected to be. Uh, instead, I'm now somewhere else entirely. Okay, hang on. Hang on a flipping minute. If I came from the north... And I entered this area and then I ended up in a detum. Then... How did I get here? <laughs> how did I... Wait, hang on a flipping minute here. Hang the flip on. Is there a... Ah! Okay, so I can go north here into the blade territory. Or I can go out this way to actually get back out to the map. Gotcha. Still, this all does make a little bit more sense at this point. Yeah, why you were saying everything was up to the north... Because, of course, literally everything is the north, because it's all one big settlement, kind of. Yeah, there's clearly more load zones, so it does work like the hub. It's just that rather than the hub where it's all one city with different districts, now it's kind of uh, different districts held by different gangs, uh, pretty much at war. So we've got, yeah, signs of gang activity are evident in the partially rebuilt nightclub and tiny outposts. So I'm guessing this is, uh, yeah, the blades. So... According to Zimmerman, these guys killed his son and left the head on a spike outside town. Which, if so, would make them bad people. However, I'm not sure he's telling the truth. Hello, member of the Blades. Are we willing to talk to each other without, like, you know, murder? See ya. Okay, not much. Member of the Blades in here. Hello, I wonder if it will rain. Okay, she's very polite and British, just immediately talking about the weather. Nice weather we're having today. Someone else too. Okay. I like the blades. They seem very, very polite. But admittedly, almost no one around here seems to have any interest in talking. Everyone seems to be just generic people. Ah, you, however, are going to be a real person who wants to speak. Fine. Let's just have a chat with all of you. And you are... Ah. Okay. Before we go into there, there's a person here who's got a description. So you actually matter and want to chat. Who are you exactly? What? Why are you talking to me? They were here, you know. Who exactly are you, my good man? I'm Greg. Don't anyone else know, or they'll come and find me. Why are you so jumpy? What's going on here? Jumpy? I'm not jumpy, just careful. They all say I'm paranoid. I'm the one that's going to be here when they come to get us. Alright, who is coming to get you? You think they're coming and you can't stop them! Okay... You're back. Hey, you're back. Don't talk so loud. They're out there. Look, I think we need to... No, 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 no. Just tell me what's going on here. Can I actually ask you anything or do you just start yelling? No, I think you just start yelling if I ask you directly. No, there's nowhere to get the information out of him, unfortunately. Right. So in which case, let's go and have a chat to the door person over here by the blades. Let's see if we can get any straight answers out of you about what's going on between these guys and Aditum. 
Hello lass, what might you be looking for today? What can you tell me about the blades? Are they as bad as everyone says? Good group of people is what the blades are. Stuck here between the damn regulators and the death claws. Oh dear. Right, so as it turns out, yeah, the death claw thing is going to be <laughs> much closer than I'd actually like, but never mind. So if they're stuck between regulators and death claws, that means the death claws are off to one side or the other. But if I could clear out the death claws, I might be able to find my way to the gun runners and then presumably the best guns in the game, if I have the money for them. So this guy's McCray, and he actually helps the blades against some of the death claws and the regulators, teach them about protecting themselves. Okay, have you seen the death claws? Where are they exactly? Seen them I have, a ram like hell I did. If you're looking for him, you'll find him over there. He points over to the east. Okay, head east, death claws. Got it. In all fairness, I was able to deal with one Deathclaw before, and since then, I've significantly upgraded my weapons and armour. We might be able to handle it. And what's the deal with the regulators from your point of view, then? I was thinking the Deathclaws were the spawn of an unnatural act, but then regulators are evil. Come once a month or so, they show their ugly face and drag a father away from his wee ones. Okay. What would you like me to do to help? What's your version of what needs doing? You'd be wanting to talk to Razor, a good lass of Ah, the leader, female. So therefore, this will be the person who Zimmerman wants the head of. But why does Zimmerman, why would Zimmerman frame these people? What would be the point? There's no point having, like, you know, when you're a subsistence society and you're at the point of a shooting war, there's no point in having people riled up for literally no reason. You want to make friends, not enemies that are completely pointless. Not unless you plan to take over, which isn't like he does. So... What's Zimmerman's game? Unless, of course, this guy's lying to me too, which he could well be. So this here will be the centre of the blade, and I'm going to be honest, these guys have a lot of members. You don't really want to pick a fight with these guys if you can avoid it. Now, which one of you is not just a member of the blades? Okay, here's three people at the front. We've got ourselves here, Duggan, the new Coca-Cola addict of the blade, which is apparently just a job. So, uh, hello there, Duggan. What's with the new Coca-Cola, Duggan? Are you alright here? It's the stuff of life. Actually, if I don't drink it on an hourly basis, I get a splitting headache. He drinks about five litres a day, blimey. And over here next to him, we have got ourselves an intense young man and a very beautiful young woman. I'm guessing you would be Razor then. Hello, can I help you? Who are you exactly? My name is... No, you're Christine. You live here with your husband, Michael. So what's your deal then? I asked her if there was anything else I needed to know, and she responded, C, D, E, D, B, D, ducks. To which I can respond, M R not ducks. But what? What's happening? What? What the bloody hell was that? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> bloody synths. Anyone can be one. Yep. And this guy, her husband, is confirming what I already thought previously. So northeast, get to the gun runners. But you have to get through the death claws to get to them. West is the followers of the apocalypse, and far to the south, some kind of church. Fine. So I have to leave this area if I want to get to the church. But for the followers of the apocalypse, the blades and the death claws and the gun runners, they're just in this local immediate area. Got it. Ah, and that'll be my target then over there in this room in some distinctive armour. By the looks of things, we have got ourselves, I'm guessing. No, not you. You. Can I help you? Are you the leader of this gang? Gang, we're hardly a gang. I am the one they come to for direction. Okay, ooh. Zimmerman sent me. <laughs> you do admit you look a bit like a gang. Yes. I wish we were a gang, at least then we'd have decent weapons to defend ourselves with. Okay, so defend yourselves from what? Because I'm guessing you actually mean the regulators more than the death claws, which is interesting. We need better weapons. The gun runners a little ways from here have weapons. We can't get to them. And why not exactly? Well, death claws, we know about that. There's a death claw nest between us and them. We've never even spoken within the gun runners. The regulators have the firepower to collect the death claws. For some reason, they don't. Okay. This is intriguing. And yeah, where can I find the gun runners? Over to the east and then the north. Fine. Death claws not to be taken lightly. I've seen a death claw terror man in half with one swipe. I'm going to see what I can find out here. Get to the gun runners, clear out the death claws. I won't be able to sort something out for you people. Get a bit more information out of you. So if I want to do that, would feel like I'd be heading, yeah, over in this direction. Let's go over in this direction. Assuming that, you know, Tycho hasn't immediately, like, you know, trapped me. Nope, nope, I haven't been trapped in a door by in or something. Let's go find ourselves some death claws, damn it. 
So, guns out here, the most powerful stuff we've got. Probably worth, yeah, getting that shotgun ready, just in case you need something else that hasn't been reloaded. Has everything been? Nope. Reload it. And, yeah, go over. Prepare for burst. See what a burst does. That sounds fun. And you're reloaded as well. Right. Over we go. Now, if this is right, then this should be... Yep. That's a death claw nest. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just go into... Pause time for a second here. And see what we got. Let's see. One target. Two targets. Okay. Two death claws. If we approach... From this angle, we should be able to pick off this one, hopefully, before this one even wakes up. So as a result, end combat, activate the skill decks, and go into sneak mode. Okay? Now we're just going to walk over to... Wait, what? Where did that one go? Where did that one go? We're just going to sneak over here, and if we can, we're going to get a bullet... In the back of that death claw before it even sees me. I see it. I see you. I see you. Yep, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Never mind, it's fine. Right, take a shot of that if we can. 68% chance to hit. I'll take it. There we go. So, strength too low, but hit for 21 points of damage. Let's see how much damage that does to you. You are wounded, but not severely yet. Honestly, not too surprising. May as well reload at this point and then just basically take two steps forward because my companion certainly will do. Deathclaw comes running up, has plenty of action points, seems to be able to move pretty well. You guys move forward. He, oh, his sequence is really high. Okay, everyone should start shooting him. Nine points, that's not much. How much is he? Is he down to, he's still only wounded, which is a concern. But now he's point-blank range. Take 95% of the eyes. Okay, that has... Yeah, massive damage to death claws. Ooh! Ooh, yes! Critical hit in the eyes for 104. You've got to be... I'm kind of amazed you're not dead. Severely, he's not even almost dead. I've done 104 damage to him and he's not actually almost dead. <laughs> oh, dear. These ones may be tougher than the ones I found previously. I'm going to run in this direction with my remaining three points. And I'm hoping... Other people are going to take shots at him, right? Yep. Comes. Doesn't get a swing in yet. So he's been hitting the left leg. Eight hit points. Hit for six. Still not looking great. You almost dead at this point. Severely wounded and has crippled limbs. Okay, and presumably it's the eyes. With the eyes crippled, that's his accuracy down. That's good. So now go for... If we could hit him in the head, we could potentially knock him down with a concussion. Yeah, go for it. There we go. That is just 16 points. He must be... Yeah, he's almost dead and has cripples limbs. So I'm just going to take another three... Yep. Everyone keep shooting him. Boom, boom. Goes for an attack on me. Goes down a little bit. I've taken about... I've got over half my life left. <laughs> it's fine. It's under control. Almost dead and has crippled limbs. I'm just going to go for a basic shot against you. Yeah. And dead. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, those guys, tougher than I remember. Right, definitely tougher. Have you got anything good on you, by the way? No, literally nothing. And there's another one up there as well, blimey. Still, let's get ourselves moving on here. I think I'm sitting on a giant pile of stim packs right now. So yeah, I'm sitting on 30. Let's just use one of them right now. Lovely, that's up to full health or near as damn it. Now, same trick again. We know we've got another one of them up here. Here. So let's just get over here. Get a first. Wait, what? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Your perception's a little bit higher than I was anticipating there. Right, uh, one, two, three. Can we get one shot at you? Uh, 72. We have managed to get, yep, 23 hit points. I will gladly take that. Now just start falling back. All right, you guys just start moving in. Neither of you have taken a knock yet, so you should be able to take a bit of a knock. Plus, you're wearing metal armor, which is all right. Don't run in too much. I'd rather just kind of, you know, like fire and fall back. To be perfectly honest, I think that's safer. 95. Right. Keep shooting him. 18. Fall back a bit. And probably actually, you know what? Let's just reload and then just fall back two steps. Uh, that's fine. He's definitely coming for me. So, Tycho, you should now have a good shot at him. Yeah? Nice. Flipping five hit points. Well done, Tycho. I think I need to give you... A actually, you know what? I could give you the assault shotgun because I know you use shotguns. So, that'd probably be a good idea. Are we close enough now where I can start getting the VAT shots in? 
95 to the head. Why not? There we go. That is hit and head for 21. Okay, but not great. Fall back a further three steps. He's being shot for nine and possibly going to be hit again. No, because Ian's had to reload. He's coming for me, but now those guys basically can just shoot him repeatedly. Shot in the right leg for eight. You only got one shot him. That is not good. Uh, what state are you in, by the way? Severely wounded, not almost dead yet. Going to go for the eyes. 95 for the eyes. And... No, didn't get lucky with the critical there, unfortunately. And now he's going to start swiping at me very, very soon indeed. One, two, three. Ian is... Ian, please tell me you're not about to... He actually just knocked it to the ground with his knife. <laughs> well done. Nine hit points because you're too long range for shotguns. Guys, please start using guns again. Go for the eyes again. Yeah, come on. Need that big critical. Nope. 18, but no critical. I'm going to run basically towards Tycho to desperately hope this is going to fly. Don't use a knife. Bloody hell. The death claw was hit for zero damage. I was hit for nine and actually... Ooh, I was critically hit for 24. And then he kind of swiped into me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're not looking so hot, actually. He's severely wounded, but not even almost dead yet. I need to use a stim pack. I need to use a stim pack and then get one shot in. But after that, I'm basically just tanking whatever he throws at me, and that's a concern. But I can use one. Do I need to use a second? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use a second. Uh, maybe even a flipping third. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? I'm sitting on all these stim packs. I never use them normally. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now, one lovely VAT shot to the eyes. Come on, get the critical. And... Nope, sadly, that was 20 hit points. Ian is determined to use a bloody knife. I've been hit for nothing, and then... Ooh, is he... No, I don't think he's dead. And he's just down on the ground. Well done. You've critically hit him and knocked him to the ground, but I'm going to take one normal shot. Then basically, I'm just going to start running. Nope, never mind. Just put a bullet in his head and finished him off. Nice. And there we are, victorious in combat, 1,000 XP. Ooh, 500 to go for this, and I've leveled up from that too. Very, very nice indeed. 28 skill points, beautiful. I'm not even sure if I'm actually gaining any benefit from increasing, like, skills beyond 100, to be honest. Small gun seems already pretty damn good. What I should probably do is... Uh, do I want to go for my melee plan? It's not a very good plan, I don't think, but... Hmm... Where do I want these points to go? Yeah, I'm kind of swimming in skill points. You seem to get a lot of skill points in this game. I do feel like, yeah, if I was respecting my character, I'd give myself less intelligence in order to have a bit more strength and, yeah, probably maxing out uh, agility as well. You know what? Let's get sneak up a little bit. That feels like that's got to be useful as time goes by. Let's just invest a little bit in lock pick. Actually, let's get that up to 100%. Sure, why not? And just for fun, let's get my gun skill up to over 150%. So I think that's everything around here dead, in which case we can... Ooh, hello. Hang on a minute here. You see a dead merchant, and that is... Ah, wait. I know exactly what that is. That's going to be what I need for... Okay, never mind. It's too bloody heavy. Guys, come over here. I need to give you something. There we go. It weighs 12, apparently. And that is totally 100% what Miles wanted. Yeah, let's go and turn that back into him. Because, actually, no. While we're passing by, let's loot this place to hell. Ooh, booze. Booze and shotgun shells. Shotgun shells every time. And I can't help but notice the stairs here. The stairs, and I strongly, strongly suspect there's going to be... Yeah, there's going to be more here yet, isn't there? We're not done with this. Two death claws does not a nest make. No, not even close. But we've got the stuff, I assume now, that Miles was wanting. And like Miles, he's a scientist. So let's go and hand that back to him. Good news, Miles. I've got your stuff. Miles looks over the parts. These are them. It looks like Smitty is going to have to do a little work with them. Can you take them over to him? Absa flipping Lutely. I know exactly where he is as well. So could you fix these parts for me, Smitty, so that I can fix your hydroponics farms? Yes, I can fix that. Give me some time. I'm guessing we're just going to fade to black. Lovely. And now it's night. So, got the fixed parts. 
give these back over to Miles. Miles takes the fixed parts from you. Looks like Smitty did a great job on these. Thanks for your help. Here's some stuff for your trouble. Miles hands you some caps and some stim packs. Beautiful. If you ever get back this way, you might want to look me and Smitty up. We might be able to help you out with some adjustments to some of your equipment. Smitty can work wonders with certain weapons, uh, and I can help out with certain sorts of armor. Okay, what sort of armor? Nothing can do with that type of armor. Sorry. So maybe if I come back with like more advanced armor, like, you know, reinforced combat armor or Mark II or something, he might be able to do something with that, which would be pretty damn cool. And presumably I don't actually need to fix anything, do I? Because I've already handed that over to him and he's basically offered me the reward. So I assume I don't actually need to go and fix your hydroponics. You've got the parts there for the hydroponics are just sort of working, which is lovely. So I feel like I've just helped out to do quite nicely there, but there's plenty bloody more to do here. Yes, in fact, yes. There's more in that Deathclaw house. Beyond them, the Gunrunners might have some amazingly good guns. We need to figure out whether the Gunrunners and the Blades might want to do a deal. And also, whether I even want to facilitate that deal. Because if I facilitate that deal, they might be coming straight down here to Adetum to straight up murder everyone. I don't want them to do that, because now Smitty and Miles are on my side. I want to keep them alive. So, uh, we need to figure out what's actually going on here. We need to figure out who exactly side I should be on. Because somebody is lying to me somehow and we will figure out who that is next week ladies and gentlemen but in the meantime i've been john this has been many a true nerd and this has been fallout thank you very much and goodbye no sadly i cannot be the santa claus of murder tonight so apparently even though this thing is oh no no you can't no you most certainly can't okay is that the symbol meaning i'm about to pull her over yep there we are there we oh I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.